The automotive industry is currently at its peak when it comes to technological advancement, and Ford is most definitely at the top of the list. Recently, Ford has been working especially hard on radicalizing their vehicles by implementing cutting-edge technology in them so they could completely outclass their competition. And so far, they've been very successful at it. Some of their newest patents will undoubtedly set a new standard in terms of safety and equipment. Join us as we explore five of the newest patents that Ford has filed to stop all competition. Since the introduction of the Adaptive Cruise System in the 90s, there were a number of problems that surfaced when using this system. Depending on outside conditions, it could be unreliable, and it can feel clunky and unrefined at times. Well, Ford has managed to finally tackle this problem with one of their most recent patents, which is their Enhanced Adaptive Cruise Control System. This patent has been published on October 13, 2022, and it's already one of the biggest news in the automotive industry. You see, standard adaptive cruise control systems have a number of sensors that can scan the vehicle in front and just follow the speed that the said vehicle is traveling at, lowering and raising the speed when needed. Ford's newest system, however, is much more advanced. A higher amount of sensors allows a much finer and precise measurement. And if that wasn't enough, it doesn't only measure the speed that the vehicle in front is traveling at, it also observes the way it's traveling. Is it swerving? Is it preparing to change lanes, etc.? Allowing the advanced AI to de facto predict the possible actions that the vehicle in front of us will take. This can be compared to the way that chess AI works. By following the board and its human opponent's play style, the AI can predict every move its adversary can play and is already prepared to counter them. The Enhanced Adaptive Cruise Control will, therefore, allow a more pleasant and relaxing experience for the driver, while also making the trip much safer than earlier. And while we're on the topic of safety, the next important patent is a special addition to the Enhanced Adaptive Cruise Control that improves the safety of the system even more. As previously mentioned, the EACC improves upon many flaws of the standard adaptive cruise control systems one of which is the fact that it can be unreliable and even downright dangerous to use under low visibility conditions, such as fog, smoke, or even nighttime, as the sensors cannot stably detect the vehicle in front of them, let alone detect if it's speeding or slowing down. Well, Ford has managed to finally overcome this persisting issue. Their patented Low Visibility Adaptive Cruise Control System that was published on the 27th October 2022 is capable of detecting areas with low visibility and will effectively switch the adaptive cruise control to a modified operation mode that will increase the sensor's capabilities, but also insist on raising the driver's awareness until the visibility becomes normal again. In essence, autonomous systems, as convenient and cutting edge as they are, still aren't 100% reliable, and this system will drastically lower the amount of accidents directly caused by said systems. Unfortunately, not all accidents caused either by human or AI error can be prevented, but their consequences can be minimalized. And the next patent that we'll talk about is designed to improve one of the most important safety features of all time. Since its introduction, the airbag has saved numerous lives in car crashes. After its initial integration into the steering wheel, airbags were being strategically added to the interior of the car with the intention of reducing injuries. Ford, however, decided to expand upon the concept of airbags in the past months and they've been pumping out different patents that majorly improve the safety characteristics of their vehicles. One of the most prominent patents is the side airbag with active positioning, which was published on the 1st of March in 2022. In this patent, the side airbag is essentially mounted to the side rail and is able to slide along the rail when the occupant moves the seat from a recline to an upright position, since the occupant could be in a major disadvantage during a crash when in a reclined state. Ford has been making sure that this system, in essence, allows the airbag to inflate so that it'll be as effective as possible during an event of an accident, as its position would be in a direct relation with the seat angle. This idea, alongside many other safety-related patents that Ford had published in the recent past, even further proves how committed Ford is to making their cars as safe and its passengers as tucked in as possible. However, the next patent is so mind-blowing that you'll want to share it with your friends. So, be sure you do, as we can see Ford is also making sure that their cars can also read if their drivers are stressed out and, in turn, help them overcome their imminent anxiety. Ah, uh, yes, the start-stop system, a controversial system that drivers tend to dislike. 
Even though it saves on fuel, many drivers show their distaste towards the system simply because it unnecessarily wears down the starter, alternator, and the spark plug or glow plugs. In the past couple of years, start-stop systems became standard on most cars. But since the semiconductor chip shortage that struck the automotive industry in the recent past, most manufacturers, among of which is Ford, decided to temporarily disable this feature for a number of their models. So, before YouTube decides to disable likes, be sure to give us a thumbs up. The fact that some of their models aren't currently using the start-stop system, this hasn't really stopped Ford from developing an advanced version of the system that adapts itself to the current mood of the driver. In essence, the car's computer will monitor the current driving style of the driver with the help of many cameras and sensors that monitor the road and the way the car has been driven, and also the vehicle's navigational system and even vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle data. Not only that, but interior cameras can detect the facial expressions of the driver, and they could therefore gather even more information in regards of the driver's current mood. So, if a car, and hence the driver, is under a lot of stress, the system would deactivate itself automatically until the stress levels fall back to normal. This will relax the driver, if just for a little, and there wouldn't be a need to get riled up because the car turned off by its own during a simple traffic stop. Even though this feature sounds fantastic theoretically, we won't know if it'll be truly palatable until the semiconductor chip crisis ends. But what we can be sure of is that the next patent that we'll be looking at is definitely a very interesting concept that'll probably have a great impact on the EV market. As we all know, the biggest problem with fully electric vehicles is the fact that they don't have a great range, and they're pretty slow to recharge. And also, if you get stranded on the road with your empty EV, your only solution is to basically tow it to the nearest charging station. Well, this is exactly what Ford has been working on with a new in-flight towing EV assistance system. Instead of towing the car to the first station and then recharging it, why not just recharge it while it's being towed? This would shorten the charging time and logistically help the EV owner as they could hypothetically continue on with their journey. And also, there is arguably something that is even more interesting. And that is the fact that the towed vehicle can be used as an additional source of power. In short, the EV that is being towed and in turn charged can be connected to the towing vehicle and it could provide an additional amount of kick so that the towing vehicle could carry that extra weight with relative ease or at least easier than before. Of course, this would essentially make the recharging process slower and in some cases, like getting towed by a high torque diesel SUV, it might not even help all that much. In that case, the system will automatically decide not to supply any sufficient power as it'd be counterproductive. Effectively, this patent could majorly help EV owners as any car with a bit of punch in them would suffice and stand in for a full-on tow truck and therefore save them both a solid amount of time and money. So, what do you think? Is Ford taking the right approach when it comes to technological advancement? And if so, do you think they'll stop their competition dead in their tracks with these patents? Let us know in the comment section down below.